welcome again with me, Teacher Sevile, and thank you for joining me with Expressive Arts for Grade 5 once again. Uh, before I go into details of what I want to discuss today, I first of all want us to look at what we discussed last time when uh, we met. We first began by looking at educational gymnastics. We looked at educational gymnastics. Educational gymnastics. We said these are activities that you do on your own and not in a team. Educational gymnastics are usually, and in most cases, done by individuals and not in a team. We listed different types of uh, educational gymnastics. One of them was uh, artistic gymnastic. Artistic gymnastics. Apart from that, we looked at uh, tumbling in the uh, trampoline. We looked at tumbling in the trampoline gymnastics. Tumbling and trampoline. Trampoline gymnastics. We further looked at the acrobatic. Acrobatic gymnastics or acrobatics. Then we said there are also aerobic gymnastics. Aerobic gymnastics. Apart from aerobic gymnastics, we also said there are what we call rhythmic gymnastics. Rhythmic, uh, rhythmic gymnastics. So these are the different types of gymnastics that uh, we looked at when we met last time. Today, I want us to look at something else away from uh, gymnastics. Today, we're moving a little bit away from uh, gymnastics. We will begin looking at uh, what we are calling sports skills development. Sports skills development. So, we're looking at sports skills development. Sports skills development. Sports skills development. And under sports skills development, I want us to look at uh, sports. Sports. Just that. Sports. Sports. I know uh, we do a lot of sports. There are a lot of sports activities that we do. What are sports? Or what is a sport? What do you think is a sport? What are sports? In other ways. Well, a sport is an activity that involves physical exercise. A sport is an activity that involves physical exercise. So we are saying a sport is an activity that involves physical exercise. So what this simply means is that eh, the sports activities involve physical, they involve physical activity, exercise, something that you have to do with your power, with some strength in you. We are also saying they also involve the use of skills. They also involve the use of skills in which an individual or a team competes. In which an individual or a team competes against one another or just for leisure. So what we are simply saying is that uh, these sports activities involve the use of skills. Are we together? You as an individual or you as a team has to use certain skills in order to compete against or if you just want to do it for leisure. 
just want to do it for leisure. So two things about sport. One, it is an activity that involves physical exercise. It is an activity that involves physical exercise. Two, we are saying it involves the use of a skill. It involves the use of certain skills in which a team, in which a team or an individual competes. You know, a team or an individual competes or does it just for leisure. Such an activity is known as a sport or sports. Now, there are different types of sports. This, the same sports, in other ways we can call them games, okay? So in other books you will find that they have used the word uh, games. So let us look now at uh, the types of uh, sports. Types uh, of sports. Types of uh, sports. Okay. Now, this type, uh, these sports that we are talking about come in three types. There are three types of sports or games that I want us to look at. The first one is what we call ball, ball sports or games. Or let's just say ball sports or ball games. Ball games. Ball sports or ball games. What are these ball sports or ball games? What do you think are these ball sports or ball games? What do you think are these types of sports? Well, these are sports that involve the use of the ball as part of a play. We are saying these involve the use of the ball as part of a play. We are saying these are sports. These are sports that involve, involve the use the use of a ball as part of a play. As part of who play. So in ball games or ball sports, you need a ball to use as part of play. So for you to play any game, any sport under ball sports or ball games, you need a ball. You need a ball to make it part of what? Eh? Part of who play. What are the examples of uh, these ball sports? Examples. What are some of them? Sports that you know that involve the use of a ball. What do you think are some of the examples of such? Okay. Examples like you have guessed right. Examples include examples include football. Okay. Football is a, a ball game. Football is a ball game. Apart from football, we have a netball. Netball is a ball game. Why? Because it involves the use of a ball as part of play. You can't play netball without a ball. Apart from netball, we can talk about um, volleyball. Volleyball as well is a ball game. Volleyball is a ball game. Last but not the least is a <coughs> basket. Oh no, I've written double basket. Okay, it is supposed to be basketball. Basketball as well is a, a ball game. Basketball is also a ball game. Okay. Apart from uh, ball sports or ball games, another type, what do you think is the other type? 
I know you can guess right, you can guess right. Okay, the other type is what we call track and field events. Track and field events. This is another type of uh, sports. The track and field events are other examples of uh, sports or other types of uh, sports. What are these track and field events? What are these track and field events? We are saying these are sports which combine various athletic activities. These are sports that combine different athletic activities. I will explain more. So, track and field events we are saying these are sports that combine different different athletic athletic what athletic activities athletic activities when you hear of the word athletic, it has to do with the, some running. It has to do with the, some running. So you combine the running activities together with other activities as part of what? As part of who? Play. You combine the athletic activities as part of who? Play. Examples. Examples. Include there's a game we call examples include a game called the discus. Discus involves throwing it around the object, but for you to throw it, you have to combine the throwing of the discus with some athletic, with some running in it. Apart from discus, we have what we call Javelin. Javelin. The throwing of a spear like. So before you can throw the spear, you will have to combine the throwing with the running. Then we have a long jump. Long jump. Then high jump. High jump. Then you can also talk about a relay race. Relay race. Relay races. So all these are known as track and field events. Track and field events. But when you talk about discuss, javelin, Long, long jump and the high jump. These are basically field events. They do not take place in a running track where the track is coming from. What takes place in the running track are relay races and other types of races such as the, the 100 meter race and the jumping over hurdles jumping over hurdles these take place in tracks in running in tracks but the whole of these sports that we have outlined we call them uh, the track and field events because they take place in the field as well as the, in the tracks Last but not the least of the types of games are what we are calling traditional games. Traditional games. Traditional games. These are games that are played as see, people's way of life. Traditional games are games 
that we play because they are more or less like our way of life. What do we mean? What we mean is that they are almost like a, or they are part of our culture. Traditional games are games that are part of our culture. So we are saying these are games These are games that uh, these are games um, that are played that are played as part as part of people people's way of life. So these the traditional games are just part of our culture in other ways. They are just part of our culture. What are some of the examples? What are some of the examples of, of traditional games? Examples of traditional games, uh, we have what we call Ichienga. Here in Bemba, we call them Ichienga. In other languages, it's called the Chiato. Chiato. So Ichienga is a traditional game that is played as way of life of a particular group of what people. Apart from Chienga, we also have uh, Isolo. Is it is yeah. Isolo. Where you, you dig on the ground, then you play using what stones. So those are some of the examples of what uh, traditional what, uh, games. Those are some of the examples of traditional games. Let us look at the following. Let's have a look at the following. Okay, we can have a look at the following. I will obstruct the track and field events a bit. I will obstruct the part of track and field events. Okay. So that we get to look at uh, the importance of all sports. We get to look at the importance of what? Uh, sports. Importance of all uh, Sports. This chat doesn't want to call me. Okay. Okay. Importance of uh, sports. Importance of uh, sports. One, we need to engage ourselves in it. sports. That's that's the truth. Let's not stay away from sports. Let's engage ourselves in sports. Why? Because sports helps us to discover what talent. Sports helps us to discover talent. We have people out there in this world who are living out of their own what talent. They get paid for their own what talent. Talk of footballers. We've got footballers such as Fatson Daka, Fashion Sakala. Edward Chilfia, all those guys that I've mentioned are living out of their talent. The famous Cristiano Ronaldo of today, the famous Lionel Messi of today, they are living out of who? talent. So sports helps us to discover talent. That is why I said let us engage ourselves in the sports so that we can discover our, our talent. Apart from that, helps, it helps us to stay fit and healthy. Sports helps us to stay fit and healthy. So if you want to stay fit, if you want to stay healthy, involve yourself in sports activities. Apart from that, sports helps us win in sports competitions. Sports helps us to win in sports competitions. Apart from that, 
Sports act as a way of entertainment. Sports acts as a way of entertainment. Take for example, there are track and field events. People will be entertained, people will be watching. There's a football match, people will be watching. Including traditional games such as Chienga or Chiato, people get entertained. They play it as part of what? Leisure. So once more, the importance of sports are that sports helps us to discover talent. Sports helps us to discover talent. It helps us to stay fit and healthy. Sports helps us to stay fit and healthy. It also helps us win in sports competition. Sport helps us win in sports competition. Aside from that, it is or it acts as a way of entertainment. Sports acts as a way of entertainment. So, in expressive arts today, in expressive arts today, we have looked at the sports skills development. Sports skills development. We have said a sport is an activity that involves physical exercise. A sport is an activity that involves physical exercise. Apart from involving physical exercise, it as well involves the use of skills. It involves the use of skills. There are different types of sports. These sports can as well be called the games. So there are different types of sports or games. Number one, we have uh, ball sports or ball games. Ball sports or ball games. We are saying these are sports that involve the use of what? A ball. These are sports that involve the use of who? a ball as part of play. They involve the use of the ball as part of who? play. Examples include football, netball, volleyball, basketball. To play these four examples of sports, ball sports that we have outlined, you need to have a ball. Football, netball, volleyball, as well as basketball. I guess that is the reason why they all have a ball at the end, isn't it? I, I, I guess it is. Then, we have track and field events. Track and field events. We are saying these are sports that combine different athletic activities. These are sports that combine different athletic activities. Examples include the discus, throwing discus, throwing javelin, long jump, high jump, relay races, jumping over hurdles. Discus, javelin, long jump, high jump, uh, relay races, uh, jumping over hurdles. Apart from these, we have uh, traditional games. Traditional games. Traditional games, uh, these are games that are played as part of people's way of life. These are games that are played as, uh, but, uh, as part of people's way of life. In short, they are the games that are part of our culture. These are games that are part of our culture. Examples include the Ichienga Isolo. Ichienga Isolo. Ichienga is also known as the Chiato. Wherever you go, whatever district you visit, at least you will find people who know how to play these types of uh, games. So that is what I had for you in uh, expressive arts. But before I let you go, I have a short activity which I want you to do. Grab your pens and your books. You will be able to write the activity at the end of uh, this video. Once more, this video has been brought to you by Fountain School. It has been brought to you by Fountain School. Exercise. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier to say there's a short activity for you to do here it is. The first question says, what is sports? What is sports? To mention two examples of a 
ball games, you write two examples of ball games. B, track and field events, you write two examples of track and field events. Then C, traditional games, traditional games, you as well write two examples of traditional games. Question three, explain the importance of who? sports, explain the importance of who? sports. Write three, so you just write three importance of who? sports. From me, on behalf of Fountain School, this has been your teacher, Mr. Sibili. Until next time, shalom, shalom.